ladies and gentlemen, is Friday before we hit the road. I'm gonna try to combine two workouts, but we're gonna get in a little hypertrophy workout, four legs, dumbbell only. My favorite exercises, no barbell, limited equipment, still get a great work on the quads and the hammies. And then secretly, I'm gonna sneak in a little bit of back because we're traveling tomorrow, but that's beside the point. Stay tuned, we over me, 3SB.co, new clothes dropping real, real soon. Let's dig in. Easiest one, we're gonna start with Bulgarians. Um, common mistake most people do with Bulgarians is position where your foot is. Um, we can start to bias either our quads or our hips. A step up would be a similar one if you want to do more glute hams. Um, but I'm gonna focus on the quads there. And then the other one is having the um, bench or pad more preferably too high. If you have that too high, now you're getting more assistance in your back. You just want that back leg to do a little bit of balance. You wanna focus on obviously pushing on your front leg and the knee traveling forward towards your toes. The more knee bend we get, simple, the more quad activation we get. So we're gonna do that, some body weight ones and then we'll slowly add load. Um, then we'll get into a walking lunge, which is a similar muscle, but it's a little bit more locomotion, a little bit more functional. Um, and we'll use both legs when we do that, not focus as much. And then we'll hit an RDL to isolate the, the gluteus. Um, and then that might be it for the day. A little bit of abs, a little bit of pull-ups. It's not always about quantity. Uh, we're just trying to get quality work. Look like I trained legs yet? Does one set. <laughs> oh, you know me. A long day. A long way. Bang it, baby, a little way. Now, sugar, now tell me how you want it. He kicked out my own gym. I know we said we're going to do lunges, but I'm gonna do RDLs first, warm up the tuchus, and then we'll do a couple laps. It's the Biggie Smalls like first famous song. There's your music history lesson. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot, give me the loot. I heard it. I might just do body weight lunges. Burn a little cows. We do have a trip coming up too. Traveling with Soar ain't fun on the airplane. I love to be alive. Woo! Woo! Put one up in the sky. My heart rate's gone. I'm in decent condition too. It's just hard. It's a little hot, a little dehydrated. Pretty good. We had a little refeed yesterday with some apples. But, uh, so last time we chatted about the diet, it's probably about hovering from two. 212 to 215, but I was getting leaner. You know, the training volume's been moderate, but intensity's been high. I've been pushing myself pretty good. We've been in a really good flow training wise, and protein's been up. I really, like I told you guys, we're trying to have like long-term success in anything. Setting like a foundation of habits and processes will get you there way better than just diving in and clueless. And like, the less efficient something is, the harder it is to keep up, right? So. Bicycling is very efficient to go a mile. You can bike a mile real easy. Walking on your hands is less efficient motor than a, a, a bicycle. It's much harder to go a mile. So with my food, with everything, I try to do that. So I'm in a good habit of cooking, getting groceries, all whole foods. 
but I didn't want to put too many limits on it. So I wasn't tracking every single ounce. I do buy my meats in uh, pounds. So I, I have a very rough guess of what I'm eating. Um, so protein has been accurate. I've been tracking the protein, but not the cows. And uh, travel's coming, so it's gonna be a little rougher, but I'm traveling with Bart and he's dieting too, or at least maintaining. So we'll be able to lock in. We'll eat very similar. I'll just probably literally order what he does. He has a pretty good um, rough, flexible eye without tracking. And I do too. But you know, you sit down at a barbecue spot, you're with the boys and you see grilled chicken and then you see brisket and mac, mac and cheese. Sometimes Satan's whispering in my ear that I need a double order mac and cheese and cornbread. And then sometimes the men's health is whispering in my other ear that we need grilled cheese and collard greens. But let me tell you something matter of fact, Satan is a lot louder and more convincing than men's health. So we'll try to be on the men's health side on this trip. But uh, recently weighed, this week we had a bunch of lows. Uh, it's Friday, Monday I weighed in 210, Thursday I weighed in 209. That's why I did the little refeed. Um, but I think we should be able to lock him for the trip pretty good. So the goal is to come back and on my scale at home be 209 or below. Um, if I do that, successful trip. I think we're training with most of our hosts and most of our guests for our show. So I should be able to train pretty solid. We're in Texas, there's gyms everywhere. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, so it should be good. Hopefully, the, and then we lock in beginning of May. I think we'll start the shred shreds. So end of April, we'll, we'll do the loose shreds and then May, May, I'm gonna lock it in and probably do a good six week, like drastic aggressive cut and we'll see where we end up. maybe if death upon us be sure to tune in man we head to uh, texas la bunch of videos on the way appreciate you a quick one but that's how life goes we've been uh me and steve has been grinding since 10 a.m today it's now two o'clock 20 pieces of content made i appreciate y'all for joining new videos every single day so subscribe through sb.co good company discord if you want to really get involved driven by culture and community man sound the mic we're out of here